Hey everybody, welcome back to my Eurovision React Review channel. So if it sounds and looks like I'm not 100%, that is in fact true. Yeah, if you're a subscriber of my channel, you'll know that I'm currently in India and the last 24 hours, um, my health has deteriorated somewhat. But I fly back to Milan tomorrow, so hopefully I'll be on that flight. <laughs> anyway, um, so many things have happened Eurovision related and things are happening this weekend. As a result of that, I really need to engage in my channel this morning because I thought I'd be able to balance coming to India to see friends and stuff in the channel and it just hasn't materialized, unfortunately. So. I'm going to dedicate a significant amount of my morning to just catch up with everything that has happened and is going to happen this weekend. So my first point of call is Germany. So last night Germany selected their song for Eurovision. So in our episode of Eurovision T yesterday, where we were predominantly talking about events happening in Serbia, we did mention Germany. And my good friend Georgie, who's in Germany, mentioned that Frida Gold had to withdraw for health reasons. Now, when I found that out yesterday, I was slightly less engaged in Germany's national selection because Frida was my favourite. I absolutely loved that on initial listens. There were some decent songs in the mix, but that was the one that stood out for me. Um, moreover, Georgie informed me that the TikTok winner looked like it was going to win, and I was like, ugh. I, there was no way I was going to be able to stay up for it anyway. Like, Delhi or India is like four and a half hours ahead of Central Eastern Europe. Um, how I'm going to structure this is I don't know who's won. So I'm going to just... I found a recap video that shows a recap of the performances last night just to kind of see the visual aspects of how the songs were staged. Then I'll check out the results. Then I'll react to the winner. So that's the order in which we're doing things. So... Let's check out a recap video of the performances last night. Oh, Trump. He messaged me on Instagram actually thanking me for my reaction. Okay, it seems like he's massively <laughs> prioritizing the choreography. But that would make sense, even as he's an incredible dancer. Okay, good for him. Looks like he's having fun. <laughs> um, I can't remember where that song ranked in the end. I think it was middle of the road for me, that one. Like I liked him, I liked the choreography, I liked the upbeat vibe, but the song itself was middle of the pack. Rene Miller, Concrete Heart, I like this one. I guess what the staging resembles what's something concrete? Do you remember Yulia from Russia? When she did it, she was on some sort of mountain. <laughs> um, interesting concept. Uh, I know there's a lot of love for this one, but I was like, one. Well, I thought it was all right. Didn't really necessarily stand out for me. It wasn't in my top three. Nor was this one. Oh my goodness, but even the staging, like I already commented on the, the songs themselves, it's a huge actual, uh, upgrade from last year. But the staging itself, um, interesting choice of the mannequins. Do you remember the human from Romania? They use mannequins. That didn't really work for them either. Oh. <laughs> um, Oh, I like this one. This is my top three. What I love is like everyone thus far has got like all kind of completely adopted buffoonery and just decided to just swamp the stage with different items. And this guy is just like, nah, I don't need that. I just need my song and I need my voice. Because vocally he's sounding strong. Good on you, Will. Don't give in to the mannequins or the mountain or the plants. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> uh...
Um, I had been warned that the staging was going to be underwhelming. Georgie said that in Eurovision T yesterday. Rumour had it from the jury or rehearsals or whatever it was that she's literally just standing there kind of vamping on stage. I think just with that kind of like... I refer to it as a Celtic sound before. I think that's still apt, even though people say that this sound is also native to Germany. I wanted a little bit more staging that kind of tapped into that. Even what she's wearing doesn't really tap into that either. Interesting choice. I have not heard this song. Sounds very schlager. Oh, here we go. If this wins, there's going to be a lot of happy people. Okay. Um, interesting. State That looked expensive, actually. I don't know whether they paid for that or whether the German broadcaster did, but actually having those kind of levels isn't cheap. Okay, so, I mean, for me, my personal favourites were the two boys with the ballads now... Um, my favourite is out, but I know um, Purdy, is it? If she wins, there's going to be a lot of happiness on that front. And moreover, blood and glitter. <laughs> I think if that one wins, there's going to be a lot of excitement. But I was told by Georgie that that TikTok song was going to be hard to beat. There was a lot of momentum behind it. Right, let's check out the results. Okay, let's wee wee vlogs this one. Right, well, I can already see their picture. Lord of the Lost has won with blood and glitter. Okay, get rid of you. Um, <laughs> love this dude's makeup. Okay, are we going to get points? We are. Oh, they absolutely killed it. 189. Second was Ica, is that you say it? Ica? Ica? 111. Will Church, 111. Trung, 71. Ah, oh, Patty Gurdy. I called her Purdy earlier. That was wrong. Okay, based on what I could see on the staging, I'm not 100% surprised by that. And the Concrete Heart, the choice of that, I'm not 100% sure that that was the right choice. So Lord of the Lost won the public vote. Ah, jury. How did they do in the jury then? Oh, fifth. Isn't that interesting? Ah, uh, and they gave... Ica, 10 points. That's why you need a jury. That's why juries are very important. Obviously, Trong was awarded there for his choreography. Right. I can't remember where Lord of the Lost featured in my ranking in the end, but it wasn't... It was in the top half. It was in the top half. I didn't mind, it actually. I'm not normally a huge fan of rock songs, but there was enough camp elements, both in the melody and also the visuals, that kind of got me involved, invited me in, shall we say. Right, Lord of the Lost, let's check your song out. I hope they don't get copyrighted. Okay. Happy we can die. Oh. <laughs> I think it's safe to say that Germany is going to do quite well with this already. Ah! <laughs> Hold on a minute, that dude is arms crossed, is not impressed. This guy, he's like, nah, not having it. <laughs> nah, don't get it. <laughs> I'm already guessing, based on the sound, based on the sound and knowing the sort of people that'll pick up the phone for this, and moreover the visuals, they can just obviously increase the visuals like a thousandfold at Eurovision. I think we can safely say that this is looking like it's going to be the left hand side of the board for Germany. It's definitely going to do better than last year. Though I liked Malik's song last year. We can die. 
Satan Senna. Flow. <laughs> Tell you what, he's left everything on stage, vocally and energy. <laughs> a lot of bands this year, isn't there? A lot of bands. A lot of bands at Eurovision. And that's going to be fun for the producers, moving these uh, instruments on and off stage. Um, now, <laughs> I was expecting something a little more in my face and camp with the staging, but to be fair, I can kind of see it's a massive upgrade from last year. Is it in the same studio? No, it can't be. It looks different. I mean, you can clearly see that they, they've worked as well as they can with, obviously, the size of the staging in which they were given. I think this can only increase a thousandfold in regards to what we can expect visually in Liverpool. You know, I am a YouTuber and I've always... I'm a YouTuber. I'm a YouTuber who has always professed not massively loving rock. But like I said, there is that kind of camp queer-esque vibe to it that kind of draws me in so ultimately from what I could gather from the recap this was the one that clearly had the best chance of standing out um, even some of those songs which I said earlier that I really really liked I think it had every potential to get a little bit lost if Malik got lost last year then I think a lot of those ones would have done so I think that this was a decent Decent choice for Germany. And like I said, I've got a sneaky suspicion with everything I'm seeing and hearing. I think Germany can say hello again to the left-hand side of the board, in my opinion. Um, so yeah, well done, Germany. <laughs> well done. So yeah, those are my thoughts. Um, I've enjoyed checking that out. And I hope everyone in Germany is happy with their choice. And it was a great show last night. Unfortunately, I was just unable to watch it live. Um, but yes, if you're still here and you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do click the notification button so you're informed if and when I post videos. And yeah, until next time, stay safe. <laughs>